Welcome back, everybody. We are here going strong on day two of PlayStation Experience here in Anaheim, California. I hope that you've been staying with us. We've have some, had some amazing segments. We had some great panels. Uh, why does Shuhei only ever appear on the main stage? I want him to come hang out with us here. Shuhei, if you're listening, please come join us. I miss you. Um, but I am here with Pierre from Slow Clap. We're here to talk about Absolver, a game that I'm very much looking forward to. This game looks so cool. It looks so unique. Can you give me a quick uh, just overview on what Absolver is? Absolver is basically an uh, online action game with um, we wanted to do two, two things. Very accessible but combat system, but deep enough to support competitive PvP. And we want it not just to be a combat game, but also to happen in a world with a rich history in which players can meet one another and build meaningful relationships with one another before actually, you know, just fighting. So, um, so there is or the combat part, the action, and th that social building relationships part to the game. Okay, cool. Uh, I understand we actually have some gameplay footage yeah. here that we're going to take a look at, so I'd like to get that running, sure. and we can uh, take a closer look at the uh, awesome combat of Absolver. Okay, so we're going um, to have a look. This is actually the build that's, um, that's being uh, currently played on the PSX show floor. Cool. Um, so if anybody sees this, you can try it. Um, so. We, this is the exploration part of the of the game where you um, where you are in a it's a small open world. It's the ruins of a fallen city in which um, you're seamlessly matchmaked with other players as you explore. This current demo here we're seeing it's a, it's the earliest part of the game, so it's a single player t tutorial, and so we won't see any social relationships in here. Okay. Um, so we've chosen a character with a specific combat style because in the game you can. You can have different combat styles that you learn as you progress. And um, so this character has this combat style, which is uh, inspired by Kung Fu. And each combat style has a special ability. So this one, you can avoid enemy attacks. So here we see um, core um, real-time combat gameplay um, against, uh, against an NPC. So we wanted to make a combat system that's one of our taglines was um, combat is a dance and movement is your weapon. So we oh, wanted cool. something that's really physical and strong and impactful. How many different, uh, uh, I guess I'd say, martial arts styles did you research and look into when you were putting this all together? Quite a few. In the game, we're going to have three main combat styles plus one secret one that you can unlock in the game, which we're not discussing uh, currently. OK. That's a, that's a little surprise we're keeping for, for later on. And um, that one just turns it into a first-person shooter, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the plan. <laughs> and um, and so as you're um, as you're exploring, you'll be you'll be fighting NPCs. You'll be um, basically discovering what you're doing. This what it means to become an absolver, which is your main objective. And uh, you'll come to question these objectives as you progress. Um, so you've got a really intricate combat system here uh, where yeah. you actually, there, there's some predetermination going on here where you have to decide outside of battle, you put things together, right? Exactly. The idea is that we wanted to let players build really their own unique play style. This is something that we're going to see um, a little further on in this demo. Um, just one thing we're going to see here is a core game mechanic, which we call flowing attacks. The idea is that you want to attack in the right timing to chain your attacks faster, to stun your enemy for longer. That's when you ah. see the character flashing gold. And so that means that even in the, in the full pressure of the action, you've got to stay focused. You've got to stay in the, in the right rhythm for, uh, to reach maximum efficiency. That's cool. It and feels so almost like spiritual, for lack of a better word. Yeah, well, we're trying to have something that's you know, not like uh, Bun mashi, a frenetic, but we want it to be uh, a, g a pace which is still very intense. But you mustn't rush things. It must be uh, you know in accordance with your movement and the flow of your movements. Cool. And uh, we just saw here the special ability of this character, which is the avoid. This is a quick tutorial that we're showing. And final thing is, you, you see these little two stones glowing in my back. It's yeah. um, this is what we call tension shards. They fill up during combat. And they allow you to use special powers, special abilities, and, um, and to draw weapons uh, during combat. So weapons are like a temporary bonus that you can use um, when your tension shards are, are glowing. We're going to see weapons a bit further down the road. Okay. Um, 
And so this, um, I'm not going to go too deep in the narrative of, uh, of the game because it's, um, it's uh, the story blends uh, single player and multiplayer. So uh, you can, you know, you can run through the game yeah. without being connected, but you'll be missing on the social uh, and PVP aspects Sounds of the game. Sounds like, like online connectivity is something you guys are looking very deeply into. Oh yeah, we've got, um, we've spent a lot of time both getting the server architecture right because we're both doing seamless matchmaking, which is, so when you're moving around in the world, uh, you'll be meeting other players constantly. And then when you go into dedicated PvP game modes, there's that more traditional matchmaking where you're uh, matchmaked with people of your level, your skills, etc. And um, plus, we've also focused and did a lot of work on gameplay replication to make sure that the game is fair and feels fair, even when you've got like, you know, 100 milliseconds of lag or stuff, yeah. uh, because this can really break your experience. And so we've spent really a lot of time focusing to make sure that the gameplay feels right, even in real network conditions. Cool. Yeah, this feel, this combat system is just so different than anything I've ever seen before. You guys are really, it feels like you're putting so much care into every frame of animation here. Oh yeah, this is, all the animations here are keyframed. We've got very talented animators in the team and I think the least exper all of them have like extensive martial arts experience. Oh. And I think the one who did the least had, did like, practice karate for like six or seven years. That's got to be a and really <laughs> small Venn diagram of <laughs> skilled animators who also know yeah. martial arts. Well, it so happened that these are the guys we, we found and they're super talented and they're making all these keyframed animations. And so right now we're going to get into the, the meat of, um, of the core combat. So, Ooh. which that's what we haven't discussed it yet, but the idea is when you're in combat, any time, you can change stances by holding R2 and moving okay. the right stick. So you've got four different stances to choose from, and depending on your stance, you've got one sequence of attack and an alternative attacks. And all these attacks can be customized in that interface, which we called the combat deck. So as you explore, as you meet people, as you fight other people, as you find mentors, you'll learn new attacks, which you can use in your combat deck. Okay, so this and is a deck as in like a card deck. As in card deck, but you're basically between combats, you're preparing your strategy and the moves that you'll be able to use in real time combat. Huh. The idea is that one attack uh, can send you in a different stance. So when I'm building a sequence of attack, it can either loop on itself or send me in a different stance. Okay. And all the moves chain together really smoothly. So players basically build their own combat system. Yeah, exactly. So the idea is that eventually, um, players have really have their unique uh, setup and combat style, huh. and uh, and you know this is um, this is what you're doing in combat. It's learning what moves your opponent are to be able to react and counterattack, etc. Huh. So is this kind of uh, I mean I don't want to oversimplify by saying it's kind of rock paper scissors, but is it something where like you can equip some quick attacks so that you can interrupt somebody else's big wind up attack they might be doing? That's up to you, you know, if you, it depends on your play style. If you rather have, uh, you know, you can have in your front stances really quick attacks to interrupt the others and stronger attacks in your back stances, you can do that on alternative attacks if you want to. It's really a super flexible system and we're, one of the things we're really excited about is seeing, you know, what strategies players will do in their combat deck. So it, I, I, I would be remiss not to mention that the art style here, the graphic design is just absolutely gorgeous. This is really a beautiful game. Where did you guys draw the inspiration for the overall aesthetic? Well, we wanted to do um, something which was um, stylized, but still had realistic human proportions. And we thought that, you know, it fits our gameplay, which is really about the essence of movement. So we didn't want to have too many things that distract you from that. Okay. But uh, while still, you know, having um, enough details to um, to have quite of a rich environment. And cool. so this is why, you know, we've got realistic shapes, but stylized textures and animations are also a bit, um, you know, um, not exaggerated, but yeah, stylized, I guess, is for lack of a better word. So the idea is that as you, as you explore the game and fight other players, 
when if you attack me with a front kick 50 times, eventually I'll learn that front kick and I'll be able to use it in my combat deck. Oh, okay. And if you're my mentor, if I ask you to become my mentor, I'll, I'll, and you want to teach me that front kick, I'll learn it even faster. Huh, and this is Just something that takes place in the multiplayer aspect of the game. Yeah, this is, well, you can have NPC mentors, oh, okay. but it's even more interesting when it's an actual other player. Oh, so uh, it, works on, it works both ways. Yeah. Interesting. So this is actually uh, quite a, a short, uh, short video I, I shot just before coming here to show uh, the character customization aspect oh, wow. of the game. So all your gear has impact on, uh, on gameplay properties. So you've got weight ratios, uh, defense parameters, which uh, in turn impacts um, how efficiently you're going to use the attacks that you've placed in your combat deck. Okay. And this is, for us, it's also important because this is what, what you'll be showing to others in game. And so if I choose a math like this one, which is maybe a bit aggressive, uh, and you meet me, uh, you're going to get a different impression. You're going to you're tell yourself a different story about, OK, this is probably a bad dude. He's going to try to attack me. Is or there a math that's just a big smiley face so I can be very welcoming to people? Oh, uh, we, we haven't made one yet, but <laughs> we certainly want them to be like, masks that are darker and that yeah, more, yeah, you know, yeah. ominous. That and one looks pretty good. And, you know, masks that are tribal and absurd like this one. And so there is um, really a very, very wide variety of, um, of uh, outfits you can create and show to others. And so here we've, um, we're showing a few, uh, a few cuts of, uh, of gameplay. So this is a core PvP combat gameplay. So uh, we when you're, when you're in the world, you can go into dedicated game mode and dedicated matchmaking. So this is one versus one. Uh, we're showing some sword action. So here you see characters doing feints, flowing attacks. Uh, there's a disarm mechanic. So here I've just um, picked the weapon of my opponent to hit him with it. Oh, cool. Um, this was an avoid, avoid, which is one of the special abilities here. And this is the uh, match-made PvP that we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can fight players in the game, but if you want to do like a best of five actual game mode, you're going to want to go into dedicated PvP game mode. Awesome. So we've got one versus one game modes, and we've got three versus three uh, more objective-based uh, game modes. Oh, cool. So you, you'll be wanting to you know, make friends in the game as you're exploring, build a team, and go into uh, dedicated PvP game modes with them. Cool. So Absolver looks absolutely stunning. I'm very much looking forward to playing it. When when are you uh, hoping to have the game out? We uh, 2017 for sure, uh, and we're hoping to announce a more precise release dates in uh, next next few weeks. In a couple the next of few months. Weeks. Okay, couple cool. Of months maximum. Well, I'm really excited to learn more about it. I hope you'll keep us up yeah, to date. We certainly will. Cool, Pierre. Thank you very much for joining right. us. This is Absolver. It's coming to PlayStation 4 in 2017. We'll have a more firm release date soon. All right. Uh, this is the PlayStation Livecast. I hope you'll stay tuned. We still have more gameplay segments coming up. We've got a great accessibility panel happening at 2 o'clock Pacific, so please stay tuned. PlayStation.